Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and I'm looking in on my DIY stacked bin. So they are certainly all right there on the top. I think that might be coffee. So that's kind of a weird, they pushed it to the top thing. So let's have a look and see. Up here is really starting to feel finished. Might start taking some out and sifting, just feeding the lower ones. It's just paper, I think. Looking for the last feeding. Seeing if there's much of anything uh, left, and I'm really not, except for that little bit of coffee, not really seeing a whole bunch. So as I'm going a little deeper, it's uh, quite a bit wetter. Oh, that's right. Now that I'm remembering, it's the DIY, or it's the uh, Eat My Shirt. Shirt. So it is also starting to degrade a little bit there. So I see a little wrapper from something, some paper. But other than that avocado pit, I'm not really seeing anything. I think that's what's left of the corn. So aside from actually needing to be fluffed because I think it is a little bit mucky at the bottom. Not too bad. Yeah, I think I can probably start putting some baits in here and trying to lure them out. I think this is quite a bit finished. more of the corn. Even starting to break down the banana stems. Well, I think instead of flat out feeding them across like we have been, I think I'm going to grab one of my bait trays and start baiting these guys out. Alright, so I'm going to make an open spot over here.
put my little bait box in there. More of the shredded everything, and I'll top that off with all right, maybe a little deeper. Top that off with the coffee filters, old and new, and then bury that sucker back up. Started making some castings on the lid here. Um, you're going to get the update and the baiting on the same video. So this I covered up completely with the castings that were left over and I fed just in the little bait box here. So let's have a look and see what we got. I'm going to put the lid back down so I can evaluate what I'm moving here. So that's that's a pretty healthy uh, worm ball going on there. Looks like they've uh, done some work on that banana there. This is the other half of the banana, but you can see there's all different sizes. Adults down to itty bitty tiny wisps. Mostly blue worms and red worms. There are some European night crawlers in here, but not a huge amount. But I'm going to pick up the big chunks of food and put them back in the bait box and then take these little guys and put them in the lasagna bin for right now. But that looks, uh, I think it's a fair amount of worms to get in, in a bait, uh, bait box. That's pretty good. Good, good handful there. Get a little hanger there. But uh, I'm going to transfer these over. Do a little bit of a light harvest on the rest of the, the stuff here and force the worms down. And then I'll move them over to the lasagna bin as well. We're not going to leave that right now because watching worms dive under dirt is, I mean, it's exciting for a lot of us here, but, you know, it's not not great video. So, you can see that's really nice looking. I still think there is a ton, a ton of worms in here. And we've had some rain lately, so the material is staying nice and moist. I'm just going to keep adding food that I find randomly around here and put that in the bait box. So yeah, we still have density throughout here. So although I did capture, that's probably just under a pound of worms that I caught in the bait box there. Um, everything here is still <laughs> completely completely, completely stuffed with worms. You give worms something to eat and a place to live and good conditions and they will make you more worms. Still with the, the shirt that's not even recognizable, except for the label. The label must not be 100% cotton. I'm going to fluff this up and what do I got down here? Avocado pit, we'll put that in there too. All right. Still really wet. I didn't even, you know, put any food. Oh, corn. Didn't even really put any food except for in that bait box. So it's just atmospheric moisture that's staying in here.
cuttings off my jade plant. Yeah, since it is so muddy, it definitely needs tossed. As soon as I get the, the bait box put back together here, I'm going to pull this thing apart and make sure that the underneath side is not getting horribly wet. Because this is way wet. That is a rock. Uh, wetter than I would do this on purpose. So make sure that get air to everybody and make sure there's no anaerobic conditions developing any spots here in the bin. Hey, there. Do you have an uh, European night crawler in there? See lots, lots more blue worms. Well, that, that whole thing fluffed up on the top here, and so I'll put the bait in the middle this time. I have some pureed food that I made up that I'm going to put on there. It's um, not super pretty because of the coffee grounds of course make it look ugly but it is a, a good mix of fruit and vegetables and coffee corn I think is about the only thing that's really recognizable in there but get that all mixed up in there with the other stuff and then cover that part up again and then we'll see what we get out of there all right, we're on the second level now, and this is super wet. I haven't even looked at this in probably a month, but these castings are done done. With the exception of a few bits of paper that's got a little bit of, I don't know, must have a plastic part to it or something. But, yeah, this is super done. And you can also see, and probably here, that's too dang wet. So I'm gonna pull I'm gonna pull that out and put that in a mortar tray. I have a spare mortar tray. Let that dry out. You can make worm you could uh, make mud balls with this. There's no food down here, just worms and muck, so let's scoop that out. Is just still tons of worms in there though still tons of worms oh and par for the course the bottom one is even wetter it does not smell bad though oddly enough there's a big old European night crawler. So for as wet as this is, and that's just flipping ridiculous, it does not smell bad down here. It just is stupid wet. And that's done with the exception of some seeds and stuff. So I'm going to put that in the same water tray and I'm going to I'm going to put some fresh bedding underneath here. I guess that'll teach me not to 
check on the lower portions of this that often. I'm starting to see that atmospheric humidity has a lot more to do with bin moisture than I would have thought because I haven't put a wet feeding in here in forever. Three or four months probably. So I could probably do faster is I could probably take some of the uh, leftover bin from the big boy and other things and put that in the bottom of here. That's been running a little dry lately. Okay. So that's more than is going to live in this bottom layer. I'll break this up and put this into the next layer up as well. Make sure it gets all fluffed up. But reasonably new bedding. Um, paper mixed with coconut coir. What is that? And a pretty rock. I don't know what that's doing there. I'd have a better excuse if I had any kids living at home, but I don't. So I don't have any excuses. I don't know what's going on with that. So I'm going to transfer this to the middle one as well and then maybe the excess moisture from the top will migrate down. Maybe the worms will migrate down too, that would be nice. I'm kind of screwing up my leftover bin update because now the leftover bin is now part of the DIY bin. So yeah, for this lower level, I just go to this line here. Maybe if I want to entice them to move down here, I should put a little bit of food on the bottom layer. the next layer up. Give this one a couple more handfuls. And that's about as far as I fill that, fill that to that line as well. And then I'll put the top layer back on. Alright, so I will probably let this go for another week or so and then I might just decide to um, do the same thing with this and dry it out. That's it for today. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and uh, put your comments below. You guys experiencing any weirdness with the moisture, you know, atmospheric moisture doing something with your bins? Uh, let me know how you've been handling it in, uh, in the past. I've only been doing this for a little over a year. So I'd appreciate any advice that you have for me. But uh, thanks for hanging out with me and Worms. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And everybody have a good day.